Welcome back. My name is Dr. Carl Baird, and today I'll be showing you five of the best rowing exercises for shoulder pain using only a resistance band. So one of the primary causes of shoulder pain in adults is muscle imbalances. And the usual case is that we get too tight in the front and too weak in the back. And so while yes, we do want to stretch the pecs to loosen up the front, more importantly, we want to strengthen the back. And you do that using rowing exercises. So I hope that these five Rowing exercises are things that you can use in your routine for strong, pain-free shoulders. Let's go ahead and get started. The first exercise that we'll look at is just a two-handed banded row. So for this one, we hook our band up to the wall. I usually like a little bit of a lower height. I use my belly button as a reference. From there, I grab the band on each side, which is the neutral grip, so not overhand, not underhand, but just on the sides. I take a step off the wall to create tension on the band, and from there, I just pull straight back. Now, the only thing I'm really paying attention for here is that I keep my shoulders down. So I don't want to do one of these rows where I'm hunching my shoulders. I want to keep those shoulders down. And at the very end, if I want to, I can squeeze my shoulder blades together to get that last little bit of range of motion and even more strengthening for those muscles in the back. The next exercise is a single arm banded row. So if you're like most people, you probably have a dominant side. And when we do two-handed exercises, subconsciously, sometimes our stronger side has a tendency to take over. And so these single arm variations make it so each side has to work just as hard as the other to avoid that stronger side from taking over. So to perform very similar to the two-handed row, only now I'm just holding the band in one arm. And from there, I can start with an overhand grip and pull straight back. And you can see that I turn my hand outward, so I end with my palm facing up and making sure still that I keep that shoulder down, making sure that you do both sides. Next is one of my favorite exercises for shoulder pain. It's called the face pull. So for this one, we're still hooked to a wall, but we've moved the band higher. I like chest to chin level is what we're aiming for. And now we're going to take an overhand grip. So instead of gripping in a neutral grip on the side, we're gonna turn our hand over and take an overhand grip. But same thing, we're gonna step back from the wall, but now I'm pulling this band straight back to my chin. So a few things to watch out for. First, same thing, we don't want our shoulders to hunch. And two, I wanna keep my elbows nice and in line with my shoulders. So I don't wanna drop them down like that or I don't want them too high like that. That is the face pull. Next, we have banded pull downs. This is a great exercise to target our lat muscles, which are those big, strong muscles of the back. They make that V shape and really important for overall shoulder health. So for this one, I've hooked my band up higher. Mine's on my pull-up bar. Now, if you don't have a pull-up bar, what you can do, still hook it to the wall, but perform this in a kneeling position. Still works. But from there, I'm gonna go back to that neutral grip. I'm going to take a step back from the wall to create that tension. Send my hips back with my arms nice and straight. I'm going to pull straight down. So it's almost like I'm a downhill skier. Just making sure my spine is staying nice and straight. And I'm keeping my arms straight. And again, we should feel it in our lat muscles there. And next, we have our banded row with a hip hinge. So this is one of my favorites because it's a full body exercise. We're going to take our band. We're going to stand right on the middle with our arms right at our sides and from there I'm going to perform a hip hinge. So I'm going to send my hips back, keeping that neutral spine. I want the band right outside of my legs here and from there I'm just going to do our two-handed row. So this targets not only the muscles of the shoulder but your entire spinal erectors for overall shoulder health. Give that one a try. Let me know how it goes. So there you have it. That's five exercises. So there you have it. That's five rowing exercises that you can perform using only a resistance band. Just to recap, one of the most common causes of shoulder pain in adults is tightness in the front and weakness in the back. So any plan to solve shoulder pain has to include a lot and a lot of rows. So I hope you can add these into your routine and start seeing some results. Hey guys, it's Dr. Carl Baird here, and I wanted to thank you for watching our previous video and supporting our channel. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to build strength 
to solve joint pain, keep active, and maintain your lifestyle as you get older, be sure to subscribe to our channel to watch all of our new videos. You won't find it anywhere else.